you're back here at home, grab that umbrella. We are seeing showers drenching portions of the metro area right now. Some pretty heavy ones you got going on behind you. Yeah, you picked it up before I was <laughs> going through the cameras. You said, oh, that one, you got the rain. I got rain in the garden. That's all we need. <laughs> yeah. And there's more rain ahead for this afternoon. Our weather is going to be very unsettled till about dinner time, I think, today. But we got some new information from Colorado State University from Dr. Phil. Not that Dr. Phil, the weather Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil Klotzbach, he's the guy that's taken over for Dr. William Gray. He's the leading hurricane forecaster in the United States. And he's saying that, yes, it's going to be an active season. We already knew that, but he's kind of bumped the numbers up just a little bit. Now 25 named storms for the remainder of the season, 12 hurricanes, six of them major hurricanes. These are just numbers. We know it's going to be an active season, and we're all pretty much prepared. Listen. We were all ready for barrel in case it started to turn toward us. Obviously, that didn't happen, but still got another five months to go in the season. All right, here's the rain that we're tracking right now on WDSU First Warning Radar. A couple of thunderstorms. It's really more rain than anything. Showers that are moving very quickly to the east and northeast at about 35 miles per hour. Randy said it right. Have the umbrella if you're going out anywhere over the next three, four hours or so. Now, the good thing with these showers moving so quickly, they only bring a rain for about 10 or 15 minutes, but obviously that's some pretty good rain, some pretty heavy rain. That's what we're seeing right now at the airport, officially at Louis Armstrong International Airport. 80 degrees the temperature, dew point at 77, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere right now. But we're going to start to see a little bit of a change in the next 24 hours for some of us. As we go to the tropics, there's nothing out there that the Hurricane Center is watching. And this is the last advisory that they've issued on what used to be barrel. Now it's just an area of low pressure. Still going to bring a lot of rain and still drawing moisture into southern Louisiana right now. But here's the water vapor imagery. The darkness, that's drier air. Some of that drier air getting closer to us and may actually work into the North Shore tomorrow, keeping the chance for rain there a little bit lower. Now let's go hour by hour, show you how it plays out today. Obviously, we have the rain in place right now. Middle of the afternoon, 3, 3.30, still have some rain in place. Some more showers probably developing in the Gulf and coming on shore. So off and on rain for a good portion of the afternoon. By 8 o'clock, 8.30 or so, that rain should be wrapping up. But tomorrow, look what happens. We may have some rain in the morning, but remember I told you that drier air might move into the North Shore? Tomorrow, North Shore, your chance for rain, about 20 to 30%. 60% everywhere else as more moisture is going to be moving in from the Gulf of Mexico. So another unsettled day for us, especially for the South Shore, with that chance for rain there about 60%. Numerous showers and thunderstorms for the rest of this afternoon. Breezy with some wind gusts up over 20 miles per hour. Then tonight, those showers should be ending by about 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. And the temperature is going to be in the mid to upper 70s to start your day tomorrow. And another day tomorrow where we're going to have scattered showers and thunderstorms. But again, the rain chance a little bit lower on the North Shore, thanks to some slightly drier air. Still kind of wet for us on Thursday. Chance for rain there at 50%. But then we're getting a little bit drier by Friday and Saturday. Afternoon highs getting back into the low and maybe mid-90s by the weekend. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.